Hey, kindergarten, it's Miss Beckman here. I'm so glad to be back with you in music class, and I just hope that you're doing okay. I miss you, and I love you, and I'm just happy to make music with you today. And Mr. Toots is happy to be here, too. We're going to review all of the words that we learned in kindergarten this year. You guys have learned so much about music, so let's review. Let's point to this one. Take your finger and point. Remember, this letter makes a b sound. Can you say b? Okay, and what is this word? Do you remember with the hearts? What, is it? what does it say? Beat. Let's say our pattern that helps us remember about beat. Say beat stays the same. Good, point to this one now. Well, this, we knew that that one was beat. And this one is the other one. Starts with a r, r. Say, rhythm changes. Great job. Okay, who remembers the elephant? What does the elephant sound like? Let's look at the word. L loud. Loud. Great job. Okay, and then what about the little mouse? Uh, what does the mouse sound like? The letters. Soft. And remember, that's not a soft that you touch. That's a soft sound, meaning quiet. Uh, let's practice loud and soft real quick with hot cross buns. Let's do loud first. But remember, we're staying in the singing channel or the mama bear channel. Let's practice our bears real quick. Paw, paw, bear. Mama bear. Stay in that voice even though we're going to sing loud. Let's try hot cross buns. Ready, go. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Let's try it soft. But stay in the singing channel. Don't go to whisper channel because we're still singing. Ready, go. Hot cross A penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Remember, the way to tell if you're actually singing or if you accidentally went to whisper voice is to put your hand gently on your throat and feel your vibrations. Hot cross buns. I feel vibrations in my throat, but if I'm whispering, hot cross buns, I don't feel the vibrations in my throat. Okay, let's keep going. What about the turtle? What was the name for the turtle? Starts with a S, so S, L, O, low. Okay, and then uh, with the turtle, we learned about the cheetah. What does the cheetah do? It's very fast. Very good. Fast. Fast. Oh, and you know that one from Paige's train. Remember the fast and the slow one. Mr. Tukey wants to do the train with us. Ready, go. Paige's train goes so fast. Can't see nothing but the window glass. Pages train, grow so fast. Can't see nothing but the window glass. And then, of course, the slow train. Pages train, grow so slow. Can't hear nothing but the whistle blow. Choo -choo. Pages train. Oh, so slow, can't hear nothing but the whistle blow. Awesome. Okay. And then we, we, that was all the ones we learned before spring break. But since then, we've learned these two new ones. Look at that thing, the, the green line. It's like we're stretching something, like slime. And then this one, it's like we're poking. I'm popping a bubble. Mr. Tukey's popping a bubble with his beak. So this one with stretching is what kind of sound? Let's look at the letters. L, okay, so long, long, say long, good. And this one, S-H makes a sh sound, short, good. And then Finally, this is the most recent one we're learning. 
is that if your sound is very up here like Baby Bear, then it's a high sound. But if it's very down here like Papa Bear, then it's called a low sound. So practice these two with me. Say, hi, hi, hi. Low, low, low. And now let's try Mama Bear, because remember, Mama Bear can be both sounds. She can be high and low. Let's sing Mama Bear's voice like this. High, high, low. Your turn. Great job. Okay, let's keep raining music today. Hey, Mr. Tukey wants us to practice his drawings another time. Since he's here with us now, he was at school, but Ms. Beckman went to go get him. He's really glad to be back with us. Okay, so here goes uh, Mr. Tukey's patterns. Let's start at the bottom and fly with Mr. Tukey's finger and then use your voice to do low sounds all the way up to high sounds, which is our new words for music. Ready, go. Let's do this one, sliding from high to low. Ready, go. Whee! Oh, I'm not pointing to the right spot. Let me try again. Ready, go. Whee! Good. What about uh, this one? It's the opposite. We start from low and go all the way to high. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Okay, and this one, is it all high or all low? Does it go up high, stay high with Baby Bear, or does it go low with Papa Bear? All Baby Bear voice. Ready, go! Whee! And what about this one? This one is all Papa Bear, very low. Ready, go! Nice. I always think that one sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, so now we do the middle, which is kind of like Mama Bear. Let's wiggle our voices in the middle. Ready, go. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. That's awesome. Let's count how many humps there are on this drawing. One, two, three, four, five. That reminds me of a really funny song. I'm gonna teach it to you right now. Okay, so it's a song about Alice. Alice is a camel, and on her back, all camels have humps, but Alice has five humps. So we're gonna sing that song, and I want you to count to five with your fingers. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll do one time echoing, and then we'll do the whole song, and, and you can catch on whenever you can for the singing part. Copy me, my turn. Alice the camel has five humps. My turn. Alice the camel has five humps. My turn. Alice the camel has five humps. So go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. And that boom, boom, boom is going to lead us into the next part of the song. Okay, so let's try that all together. Sing with me, and we'll do all of Alice. Because guess what? After she has five humps, something different is going to happen. Ready, go. Alice, the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. So go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. So go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has Three humps, Alice the camel has three humps, Alice the camel has three humps, so go Alice, go boom, 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 Alice the camel has two humps, Alice the camel has two humps, Alice the camel has two humps, so go Alice, go boom, 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 
Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. So go Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps. Cause Alice is a horse, of course. Oh, that was awesome how Alice turned from a camel with five humps all the way into a horse. Speaking of horses, I bet you remember the um, pattern we made last time with a bunch of animal sounds. Let's go ahead and do a horse pattern. So copy Miss Beckman. Nay, nay, who are you? I'm a horse, ding then, nay, 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 nay. So uh, let's do that one and pretend like one of our fingers is the, um, oh, and why am I putting two in this heart? Because is it long or short, short? Short, short, good. Also, notice I'm putting the horse's this way and that way. And from our new music word that we just learned, what is this word? High, and this one is low. And so when the horses are up and down, it shows us high and low in our mama bear voice. All right, so one hand needs to be the horsey. <laughs> and the other hand needs to be yourself, okay? So the horse goes first. Ready, go. Nay, nay, who are you? I'm a horse, sing then. Nay, 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 nay. Awesome job. So I have a really special assignment for you that I can't wait to hear you do. I really am excited about this. So you're gonna get two of your toys, okay? I'll show you an example. Here's the flamingo. Say hi, flamingo. Hello. And Miss, the flamingo is going to be Miss Beckman. And then Mr. Tukey is going to be himself. And for my homework, I'm going to record myself having a fun conversation between my two toys. So it's going to start with Mr. Tukey. Cuckoo, who are you? I'm a bird. Sing then. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You can do it with any of these animals that you have see on the screen. Um, if you have like a, even a Pikachu doll, you can hold up your Pikachu doll and you can go, Pika, who are you? I'm a Pikachu. Sing then, Pika, Pikachu. Or you can do um, a dragon, or if you have a Power Ranger, or even if you have, um, like even if you want to use a flower or a rock from outside, what kind of sound would a rock make? You could go crash, crash, who are you? You can use anything. I'll even let you use your imagination, which might be the best of all, and use your fingers, just your fingers. It's up to you. You can use fingers or you can use some toys or stuff from outside, even stuff in the kitchen. That would be kind of fun, right? You, you would be like, a uh, spoon, spoon, who are you? I'm a spoon. Can spoons sing? I don't know. Maybe they can. Uh, you could even use a pencil or anything. But please record yourself using this pattern we've been practicing. You can use any of the animals here and just pretend like we're putting them in the hearts. And maybe one of your hands wants to be a mouse. Who are you? I'm a mouse. Sing then, squeak, 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 squeak. So if you have questions about the assignment, please let me know and I will help you. And um, I'm asking for you to put a video of yourself singing back and forth um, in the assignment. And if you have trouble with the video and how to do it, please ask me for help. Also, um, if there's a way that you can't do a video, 
let me know and maybe we can come up with another way for you to show your work in music class, okay? I'm here for you, so please reach out if you have a concern or a question. All right, um, next up, um, I want to throw it back to um, a long time ago in music class when we listened to a beautiful song that was all about the ocean and and you could pretend like you could hear all the fishies swimming and we took our scarves and we were pretending to be fish or um, animals in the ocean and we were moving around the music room. I'm gonna play that song for you and I want you to follow what we call a listening map. It's going to show you the music. It's going to show you the high notes and the low notes and all of the weaving of the sound together to make a, a, the music. So watch the map, follow with your finger if you want to, and imagine the beautiful sea creatures. Okay. This song is called Aquarium which is a place where fish can live if you want to keep them as a pet. Okay, here we go. The aquarium is filled with many unique sea creatures. Watch the listening map movie to follow the melodic contour for this piece. Notice the long and short notes in the music. That was a beautiful song. I encourage you to speak with your family about how the music made you feel and what did you think of it, the sounds, what instruments you heard. Um, feel free to talk about it um, and you can look it up on YouTube called Aquarium by Camille Saint Song. Um, just look up Aquarium from Carnival of the Animals. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week with music and let me know if you need help. I am here for you. I love you. See you next time.